Five, seven and a half. Five minutes, seven and a half. Five minutes, seven and a half. Five seven and a half. Five minutes, 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 well set up, so I'm just going to take a quick walk through real quick so everybody wants to look at it without my going through identifying everything. And then that'll work for that. And then I'll walk through one more time and talk about all the cool pieces that we have for sale, like this wonderful three-piece carved set. There's the lift top sideboard, little side buffet, big giant china cabinet, table and six chairs, wonderful things in the cabinets through there, an oriental section, so the mid-century modern section, the oriental section, this is your Victorian section, check out this babe, I mean just some wonderful things and then I'll walk through again and we'll look at each and every piece individually, give you some idea of this wonderful three-piece old bedroom set, sewing machines, china cabinets, check out this one, I just love this piece, look at that, isn't that wonderful, all right we're going to wander through. There's another old piece. Now we're back into our primitive area. Some wonderful things. Check out that Hoosier cabinet. When you pull that Hoosier uh, flower bin out, it just comes right down and empties out into your bowl. Some great toys. Some nice primitive things. Some dolls. I mean, just and then ending up in the French provincial. So it is going to be a full sale. A lot of wonderful mid-century modern. Um, I'll show you this Danish. This actually was. Um, all carved, it's all teak. This is your teak set, this from Dan uh, from Denmark. Really well set. The the, I'm sorry? The from the islands. Okay, I stand correct from the islands. I got we've got several Chagalls. Um, this this one. And then this piece is you got one, two chairs, two side tables, a little side table, and there's another Chagall and a coffee table, all in part of that carved, wonderful, um, mid-century modern look. Now these are early in the mid-century modern, check it out. Mastodon bones and hip bones and um, just giant pieces here and some more fossils. Those are very cool. Now we're not doing our live and online portion. We are going to put everything up on the internet so you can bid in ahead of time. If you can't be here, you can bid and leave left bids on the web on our website. Go to DudleysAuctions.com. Now we have all these console stereos. I mean, check this out. This one's a Zenith. Um, it has the record player on the inside. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So if you're into this, or even collect the old tubes, um, need them for props for events. I mean, there's eight of these. All came out of one collection. Very, very nifty, very nifty. Okay, and over here, now another collection, another gentleman had a ton of pens, and so we've, correct, we've grouped a lot of these together. Again, you can go online, see pictures, see what they are, cross pens. There's some opera glasses. And then another gentleman who had worked at NASA and had lots of these signed autographs of the astronaut pieces. So we're selling those, in, those signed pieces in groups in three, four, and five all together. Over here is the jewelry. Some wonderful pieces. That's a great little piece right there. Almost pure white clarity. Wonderful VS quality on there. Nice diamond here. Nice cluster there. I hope you can see it. Um, some more diamonds, some more gold bracelets, some mid, um, some sterling and hopi. This one is actually, this bracelet's beautiful, heavy, all signed. Some more pens, vintage pieces, sold in groups. And then these here are the Timmy Woods. Um, they're all signed Timmy Woods. And they have, the, they're, they're displayable purses, I guess is what they call them. But very cool. Check them out. Go If you've never seen them, Google them up and check them out. They run anywhere from $150,000, $300,000 a piece. And they got a pile of them coming in one collection. Now that, it seems like a collection kind of sale. Now the collection, these are all um, razor blades. How cool is that? I mean, so we got them in broken up in three separate. If you're an advertising buff, that's wonderful. Got some uh, really neat art glass. So through here, there's a piece of Van Briggle. That little travel around the world discovery is actually Tiffany. Um, this is block glass, um, hand painted enamel pieces, a lot of Tiffany, a lot of Waterford, um, some really wonderful pieces. Jump into another collection yet again. Um, lead soldiers, lead soldiers, lead cowboys and Indians, World War I, World War II, I mean just some really wonderful things, more pens. Oh, and then we, in the pens collections we do have Mont Blanc, 
and we have Tiffany's and we have Waterman's. Um, so there's a lot of them. There's some more World War One soldiers. More soldiers, 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 soldiers. Up, Christine, up. Up, boo boo, up. More mid century modern. Another nice set. These are all signed on the bottom. Um, I'll have the information up on the website, so go to dudleysauctions.com and check it out. This is one of those teak um, compartmentalized, sectionalized pieces. There's all the pieces and parts. We have the brackets that hang on the wall, but it's uh, skin design, Danish. So you can build it and make it what it is, whatever you want. Lots of Danish modern furniture. Um, here's uh, Leroy Neiman, large jazz poster, really, really cool. Gonna jump over in here. Clocks, that's another big thing. Lots of clocks this week. Lots and lots of clocks this Sunday. Some nice oriental pieces. Um, you got right here an Edison player. Some early, early, I think these are saddlebags. What is this? This is called a Civil War cavalry horse grouping. This is a Tiffany ice bucket. These are all Waterford. Those are beautiful stangles in great shape, both of those. Love this piece right here. She is wonderful. This is a French Limoges sign piece in excellent condition. Beautiful on one side and the other. There's this modernistic Waterford. Heavy, 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 heavy. And I think some of these are actually etched and signed by the original creators. This is a Tiffany Botanical Bowl. Some cool stuff there. Again, more Waterford um, crystal. Some more Capa de Monte there. Waterford, Waterford, Waterford. Uncut sheet of $1 bills. Fun thing to give for Christmas. I start, start thinking about the holidays. This is the one that's the Waterford piece. You can see it right here. It's signed by the artist. Those are great pieces. Now, I see, we see a lot of Waterford. Very rarely we see this modernistic Waterford. Does. That's a really great piece there. So we're going to wander around and show you all this cool stuff that we're doing. And check out a lot of the art. These, all three pieces, these my, um, are all abstract art. They're all by the same artist. These are batik tie-dye pieces with accents, with the um, paint accents. Italian kitty cats. This long lamp. Follow it around, follow it around, follow it around. Around this piece of, and it has a marble base down there. More mid-century modern. Great little table here. Slab, oops, sorry, slabs of wood. Wonderful teak sofa, leather things. Look, this round, rounded base. Again, mid-century. Another mid-century product here. Got Picassos, more Chagalls, got those three mirrors, got a butterfly lamp, cute little kitty cat cups, aren't those wonderful? This is a lift top bar on the inside. Coming back through here, a set of four. Again, mid-century, need a little cleaning, need some work on the covering of the things. Uh, a teak, tea cart. Now we're moving over into the clock section. Look at all of these. Isn't this not amazing? And then these chairs here, um, you could pop those into the mid-century. It's up to you. Are they kind of cool? But now the cane collection. Seems like we hit this as a collection kind of week. This other fella had all of these railroad and seafaring items. Look at all those ship handles. Look at these clocks. There's a nice barometer coming down through. I'll go slow. Got some scales down here. I have to show you this one because it's just too happy. Look at this guy. Watch he goes. Open him up. <laughs> Folk art. Just really cool. Again, more clocks. I'll just kind of go a little closer. There's the matriarch up there. Some wonderful prints. I'm going to come back down. Show you a couple of these clocks real close. Brass. That one's all brass and beautiful. There's a calendar clock. Again, another brass set back. Here are cute little maple draw pulls. There you go. A little chest. A little French cabinet there. Another French cat clock, porcelain. There's some military pieces. Let's come back through here and take a look at them. These two chairs, very cool. 1800s. Really nice handwork on both of those um, some cast iron stuff. There's some handwork on that one. Cast iron bulldog. Wow, check this clock out. Jewel Manufacturing Company. Nice, nice. Back it up, back it up. There's a nice phone. There's some love and clocks that need some love and attention. So if you're a clock repair guy, man, this is where you need to be because you can put together a big pile of stuff here. Some sandwich glass. Back it up over here. This is a beautiful cherry table. It does have leaves and pads. Just really soft, wonderful piece. Got a cup. One, two, three, four matching chairs. There's a jardinier and pedestal. Another visual clock right there. Come back around. Now we got another cherry cabinet. 
This set here is kind of mid-century, but it's Royal Dalton. Wonderful. Some hair receivers, China, all this hand-painted China. There's some Art Nouveau um, fashion prints, back to the clocks. Again, I told you lots of collections. Look at this. There's, a, there's that one, boudoir clock, another mantle. Seth Thomas, more hand-painted porcelain. Look at the work in this piece of furniture. Now, to tell you a little bit about this one, these slide down, that drops down, and then it lowers over the top of the marble top so you can have it as a uh, just a buffet top or you can go from having it as a real one. Here's a pair of these East Lake chairs. More clocks. Everything's tick-talking around here like crazy. This is the other piece that matches that set. Check out this pheasant. I'm going to put it all the way down there. There we go. Ah, another cool piece. This is an anchor. It's heavy as all get out. They've converted it into a candlestick. And check out this dragon. Is this not the coolest thing? And it wraps itself all the way around this anchor. I mean, I just think it is stupendous. Really cool piece. Going back to the dragons over here. Look at that. Now this breaks down and actually into three pieces. The base, the middle part, and then the top, which is up here. It comes down, has the uh, stained glass with the lion motif in the middle of it. Just a wonderful piece. And if you come in time, well, for Sunday in time for Halloween. Oh, no, you'll have to take these for next Sunday. There we go. These are all, again, mid-century, and I think these are Rosenthal. Yeah, these are the Rosenthal glasses, a whole set of them. There's some ruby. Um, there's a mix of opalescent in there. That's all Lennox there. Uh, some really cool pieces here. These are all uh, some Mudman, some Thai silverware. Great Orient. I love this one, too. Check out the colors. Oh, so nice. Some neat brass pieces down here. We'll sell those in groups. The Marilyn Monroe, Ladies of the Chorus. And this is... Um, Another one of those that, that was done by Joyce Valentine. This, I'm sorry, the, the light's getting on it. But very cool. It's an original Joyce Valentine. Remember, she's the lady we did her estate. She was the one that did the Copper Tone Baby. And she was a uh, pinup artist. She did all kinds of really cool stuff. And then there's a, there's some cinnabar, carved cinnabar on this one. Framed in, in plexiglass. There's jade uh, in this piece. And that uh, is really wonderful, too. Just Beautiful. Some other hand-painted porcelains here. There we go. There's an old advertising cow. You hang that on the wall. There's a brass fan. More clocks. This one's probably water. Yep, this is a Waterford crystal one. There's a mandolin there. There's a humidor. Back it up. Got in the oriental side. And then these um, are one, a pair of shades. A pair of vintage Aladdin Alexite Lincoln Drape shades. I mean, look at those. Those are really wonderful. And we still have this mantle. Now, you need to know somebody that wants a oriental mantle. It's been here for a few weeks. We need to find it a good home. Uh, check out this dining room table. Again, several leaves and the pads. It just expands out. Got six chairs here plus two more, so a total of eight chairs with the captains. Um, look at the burling work on this. It's just wonderful. Just a great table. Um, it's an opportunity to get some a, a, a really expensive piece of furniture. Had a great buy. It's got double pedestals down underneath. Just a really neat piece. Needle point seat, marble top pieces, great little arts and crafts, grandfather clock, um, six panel screen, all inlaid. Look at all this done with semi-precious stones all the way around. Just really cool. Got a carpet rocker. Got another grandfather clock. Now we're going to move over into this now. This is my one of my favorite parts. You know, when we put these together, you know, nothing was in this hall on Monday morning. And we come through and we make it look like something. And it's amazing. The crew works really hard to have it done. And check her out. She is just beautiful. And then the same house where this came from came this bronze lamp. She's beautiful with the leaves coming on through. Marble top. Look at the burling work on this little washstand. This octagon table again. Look at all these legs. The burling work on there is wonderful and she's beautiful. Got lots of beauty going on this week. Nice tiger oat rocker. I think this might have been an organ at one time they converted into a desk, but what a wonderful job they did. Um, sewing sections. I got some really cool sewing machines. It's kind of hard to see. This is a wonderful tiger oak maple cabinet. Got a couple of pieces here. Look how cute this one is. Now, oh, and at the pan, I haven't seen the foot pedals like this in a long time. Some sewing things, some more oak here. 
And then this oak bedroom. Now we got some counterpanes and some quilts and some more clocks. Check out all these clocks, guys. Which are wonderful. Now this three-piece set has the washstand, the chest of drawers with the swing mirror, and then the full-size bed. Look at back here. I mean, it is in excellent condition, excellent condition. I'm going to come back through swing. Look at this piece right here. Look at the burling work in that. Just a wonderful piece of furniture. How often do you see such great pieces of furniture all in one auction? It's just amazing. And then you open it up, and I've got some. some eh, excuse me. Look at the early American press glass. All the same pattern. Again, it's like I'm telling you, sometimes we get collections, or sometimes we just get a few, and this one just happened to have some wonderful collections from several different estates. These two pieces of Waterford as well couple of great frames. Looking up there, now I'm going to bring you down. Check out this mermaid. She's wonderful. And then this curved front oak china cabinet. All tiger oak. Beautiful markings all the way around. Has the, the uh, top up there with the lion's faces. Again, more early American press glass in different colors. I'm sorry, the light. Some early American press glass goblets. Americana. Big and Grondel. There we go. Oops, I wasn't going to be so dizzy. Uh, spinning wheels. Nice oak table with the claw feet. Four chairs. The nice carved, hand carved spindle backs. Just sweet, sweet, sweet. Look at that big giant jardinier pedestal all hand painted. Check out this lamp with the shade. So beautiful. Walnut corner cabinet. Nice set of china in there. Here's an oak mach machinist toolbox. An oak pedestal. Here we go up, here we go up, yeah. here we go, cuckoo clock, okay, spinning around, hold your breath, coming back through here, okay, nice china cabinet, check this one out, another nice oak piece, um, single door with, with, tree, with the three glass fronts, got the nice cutouts in there, got some flint glass in there, I've got some china, ca china in here, wonderful satin glass powder boxes, another nice collection, really, really nice collection, great Early, um, some pressed glass. Here's a kind of lobbers, and see another, another beautiful lamp. Just this is she gorgeous. Just so well done. Now back it up. Look at this beautiful piece. Again, I already told you this is one of my favorite ones. Look at the burl work on the veneer in front of the the drawers, marble top, candle stands, tile, high high mirror, carved work all the way around, and then they have these. Look at this. Oh, just beautiful. Look how pretty these girls are. Just beautiful. And then there's a, the collar box with all the collar pins in it and everything. Just in really, really good shape. A lot of times this, the heat gets to these things and you just don't have the, 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 the heat for it. I mean the collections. And this one again is in too really good shape. I don't want to pull that out. This is the back of the organ desk. Okay, these guys are still pulling out. Now check out that, that chandelier. Maybe I can talk one of them into turning it on for us. Sean, can you turn the chandelier on so I can show it to them? Thank you. Uh, we got this treadle, uh, trestle table with the pull-out leaves. Just great farm table. You could do all kinds of cool things. And there are eight of, six of these, excuse me, six of the needlepoint chairs where they've used the pink, go ahead, pink velvet. Some nice artwork. Now there's a pair of these stained glass windows and they just are so well done look how many pieces and how many colors it's one of the ways you can tell it's a good piece or not um coffee or commercial coffee grinder there's a bellows over there this is one of those drop down um, ironing boards uh, and if you want to use this for your iron when you're ironing board you can do that there's another rolling pin collection a lot of these collections were selling just as groups and this is a cool bellow this one actually has the foot plate on it and everything it's kind of hard to see because it's dark very cool drop leaf look at this brass bucket nice big size who's your cabinet very nice enamel tops roll downs there this is one of the neatest things about this one here is it just pulls right down and sets it right over your bowl so that you can use it. I've, been, I've never seen one of those, so that makes it really cool. A couple of tin bread boxes, some other advertising tins. Again, more collections, lots of cool collections. Lots of sets of dishes. Three of these um, index box drawers. This is a whole collection of these wash and fix washing fluids. Lots of milk glass. Look at these 1950s planters, so cute. Match, uh, there's match safe collections, the kitchen matches, 
milk glass, all kinds of cool kids books there, piano babies, there's music there, and then toys, toys and dolls, and we'll put them all together. These are all Madame Alexander's, so it goes one. Look at this one, Popeye's my favorite. Another grouping of toys here. So nice, some great advertising boxes. Scale, there's a Pinocchio puppet, all wooden, really cool. A lot of Golden Books collections. We're going to be selling a lot of these. Now these are closer to the end of the sale. Off with their head. There's a whole bucket of them. This whole group of dolls will all go together. And then there's all kinds of cool, fun stuff. Back it up. Some more advertising pieces through here. Some There's a collection of planes. Wood planes. There's some John Deere. We have some cool pieces, and then if you like this French Provencal, we have a whole selection of this French Provencal, some vintage Christmas in there. We'll back this up, look at that great piece here, back through here, some trains. So anyway, those are just, this is a quick run through, and there's just so much to be offered. I'm going to turn around, I'm going to end it with, oh yeah, we'll probably find a place for that scale, but check out this chandelier, we are seven foot, we're probably going to sell it in, no, in December, the first of December, Robert? First of December, just beautiful. These guys took them five and a half hours to take it apart, put it all together. And Look how sparkly. It, huh? Five and a half hours to reassemble. Five and a half hours to reassemble this thing. It's amazing. Seven foot from tip to top. Um, just absolutely phenomenal. So if you know anybody that needs something special, you need to let them know about that. Um, maybe some more collector bottles coming over here. We're still unpacking, still setting it up. These guys are working hard. It's going to be a wonderful sale. Um, we look forward to seeing everybody. Previews at 10. The auction starts at 1. we got a lot of stuff to sell. And I'll leave you with the guys' newest, newest invention here. This is their cart that they run around packing their, <laughs> their, their blankets in. They said they like to have two heads so they can see where they're going. All right, we'll see you guys on Sunday. Have a great day.